hello everybody welcome back to my channel I am coming in today with my final installment of my fabric stash so the first video if you did not see it was my uh, favorite fabrics from my stash the second one was the one that was just up on Sunday which was my knit collection thank you everybody for your wonderful uh, comments I didn't think my stash was very big and but I do have more woven so uh, first of all, welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you for tuning in today. I greatly appreciate it. Do make sure that you hit that bell, subscribe, and all that good stuff so you don't miss an uploaded video. So I'm going to start out with solids first because I don't I only have hmm, less than 10 solids. So I'm going to start with solids first. The first solid I am going to start with, this is a thin lightweight rayon i actually just hauled this not too long ago i got it from uh walmart in hopes to make pants but it's way too thin for pants so it will be a top this was a light rayon crepe but as you can i don't know if you can tell you can kind of i can see you I'm not sure if you can see me through it so this will make a beautiful top um if I did a dress, I will most certainly have to line it. Um, but yeah, that will make a beautiful top. So just plain black rayon. This is a, um, this is the blue. Can you see that? It looks a little iridescent. This is that navy blue. It was a um, uh, suiting. And I said I was going to do a circle skirt out of it because initially I was going to do my 78457 out of this as well. This came from Fashion Fabric Club, uh, but it's too thick. I wouldn't want this all over my legs, but this will make a perfect, a beautiful skirt. And so that's a navy blue. I forgot what the what, what it was called. Um, but yeah, and I've since tried to look for it and I couldn't find it. And I'm more than likely most of this won't be able to link to. So sorry about that, but just wanted to show you what I had. And so that is a navy blue. This, I got this from it. Actually, I'll just hold up the number because then you'll be able to see it. I don't, I don't know that this is still available because I got this back in. It was early this year. This is from Fabric Mart. A lot of my fabrics come from Fabric Mart and Sass Fabrics. But this was a, I want to say this was a Sue's pick. And it was on sale for $2.99 a yard. And I got 3.5 yards. And it's a Midnight Muted Navy Polyester. And I got this with the intention of doing the, see if you can see this here. Isn't that pretty? Oh, so pretty. I had bought it with the intention of doing that. Is it M6696, the shirt dress, where I had the lace overlay? But then I saw this. This is Butterick 6333. This dress right here. I was like, now that would be cute because it comes in a, a nice, a better size range where I wouldn't have to do a lot of fussing like I would with the McCall shirt dress pattern. Um, but wouldn't that be cute? And so just getting in um, something underneath um, slip dress, which I have. I, that could be easy to do to wear underneath this. So, yes, excited about doing that. That probably won't be until next spring or something. Um, this is from the, oh, this was from the Goodwill. I found this at the Goodwill. This was, yeah, um, this is a, it's a cotton, feels like a cotton linen. But very nice. Pretty much coming off true to color. So I got, I think this is about four yards of that. This is a kit I received from um, Fabric Mart. It was a pre-cut. Uh, I don't know which one it was. It's two different labels on here. So I'm not sure which, which this went to. But this is also a... This is a cotton pop poplin. It's a cotton poplin. And so this is also from Fabric Mart, a kit. So very pretty. And I can't even think of what fab what pattern came with this kit because it came in this bag. Um, so I don't even remember the pattern. But I haven't done anything with it yet. This will probably also wait. 
until next spring but this here was a pre-cut i want to say the label on the front is probably what it is and this was 2.25 yards with the pattern it was only four dollars and 80 cent and i got this a while ago i got that back in i think this is october 2017 so yeah i've had that for a while this is from Sass Fabrics in Arizona. <laughs> and this is just a, my intention with this was to make a pencil skirt of some sort. And I very well may still do that. This is a, um, as you can tell, kind of a mauve light. I don't know what color you want to call it. It's not a dark peach, but kind of a mauve peach. And I probably have two and a half yards of this. Because um, I was thinking about doing a pencil skirt. So, very lovely. And... This I bought from Fabric Mart. Ooh, I bought this last year, so I, I, I don't know. But look at that texture. Can you tell that texture? Hopefully you can see that, that texture. But this is an orange, which will look absolutely gorgeous against my skin. Um, haven't figured out. It was probably $2.99 a yard at Fabric Mart, and I thought it was cute online and got it and don't know what I'm going to do with it but it's not it's pretty opaque so not sure this is an all over color for me but for sure a top i think more of a top this also from sass fabrics this is just a navy blue um it's a polyester type suiting i think yeah it is so actually i can make the uh, Simplicity 8457 pants out of this, but I'm not sure I have enough. I think this is only one and a half yards. Um, so again, from Sass Fabrics from last year. This is from Fabric Mart. Let me hold this up. That's a pinstripe. Isn't that nice? Um, again, this is from Fabric Mart last year, and it's pretty see-through. Um, but this will make a lovely jacket. A lovely blazer of some sort because you know most blazers are lined um, and this will be gorgeous look at that so that's a gray gray suiting yeah I wouldn't put pants in this but I'll most certainly do a jacket yeah hmm yeah that's what I'm thinking a jacket I can't remember what my original intent was for that or most of these um, this is from I don't know, but it's enough. No, this is from Fabric Mart. This is um, another one on sale. And the reason I know I got it on sale is because I got a lot of it. So, yeah, that's just a, a, a pink, a pink color. So, some not sure what I would do with that either, but I got it. This is also from Fabric Mart. This is a, probably some kind of, um, see that? What would you call that? It's on the tip of my tongue and I can't even think of the name. But anyway, it's a plum color. Very, very pretty. Not sure what I would do with this. I think my intentions was a top. And when I got it, it was too thin for the top I was thinking about making it with. So it kind of sat on the bolt, but something will come up. If anything, this will make a really nice lining. I think that I think that's probably what I will use this as a nice lining. Maybe up under that gray, that pinstripe. Wouldn't that be cute as a lining? I wonder what that work or is this too, it's not slippery enough. I don't know. I don't know if that will be slippery enough or if I will have to use a different lining for the sleeves and then use this for the body of the jacket. I don't know. I have to, let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts. I might have to think about that. And so now I am going okay, to say I am back. So now I'm getting into some prints. And this first stack of prints I'm going to share are prints that are left over from larger cuts that I had. But it's enough to still probably squeeze a top out of. So the rest of these are between a yard and a yard and a half left over. And so you've seen all of these. <laughs> Me make something out of all of these. This, I don't know if it's... It's not a yard left of this, but I think this will be cute for something. Not sure what yet. But <clears throat> remember I made the Cashmere Springfield top out of this. This is a, oh, is this a Chally? This may be a rayon Chally, maybe. 
I think that's what it is. It came from Fabric Mart during one of their, I don't know. I bought some, I bought, no, it was a pre-cut that was left. I don't remember. Maybe it was four yards of that. I don't know. And then I have, oh, I got two piles of this. Let me see if I can get to a quick here. This is the, also made a Springfield top. And I also made, um, in both of these Springfield tops I made for my anniversary collection. So if you go back and watch that video, you'll see that. But I also have this. This is a cotton linen blend. And I also got this from Fabric Mart. And I have this and all of this. <laughs> And I absolutely love wearing this. I, I think this was my first cotton linen blend. And I do love wearing it. I do love wearing it. I don't even I ain't bother ironing it. After I wash it, I just hang it. And it just dries very nicely. But isn't that pretty? So I might have between these two, probably two yards to do something with. Not sure what. But yeah. Not sure what. Um, This... Ooh, this is coming off very bright, but it's not that bright. It looks more like this thing over here, over my shoulder, right there where my finger is pointing, is more that color in person. Um, <clears throat> but this is a straight up linen, and I got this from um, Joanne Fabrics. And this was the material I used for my little red dress project for last year. I made the cashmere Upton dress. So... <clears throat> And if I have pictures of things, I will, because I've deleted a lot of pictures off my phone. If I have them, I will pop them up. Um, but if not, I did, they're on my Instagram page. But I did make um, that dress. I don't know. I'm looking at maybe a yard and a half of this. So a good amount of that left as well. Um, this is also from Joanne Fabrics. I think I said this was from Joanne's. Uh, this is the black linen. I made the Butterick shorts <laughs> to go with my Springfield top that I made for my an uh, an uh, anniversary collection. Um, the Butterick, I can't remember the number, but yep, these are the shorts that I made. And I have probably a, a yard of this, probably enough for a top for sure. I have enough for a top. Um, oh, <laughs> the top. I have so much of this left over, but remember the top I made, the Rebecca Page um, Brielle blouse, and um, let me see, this much easier to show. Here's the print. Um, I have a lot of this left, but it's maybe two and a half yards, and yes, it will be a top, and this was from Fabric Mart. I remember it was on sale for $3.99 a yard, and I probably got four or five yards, and so yeah, I probably got two, two and a half yards of this left, and so it'll be a top, but it'll be a different type of top. I felt like that top, the print on here was too busy uh, for the top that I made, and with me being bigger bust, it, it just was like, bam, here are all the designs all over the... <laughs> I, I didn't like it for me personally. So, um, oh, and I remember I made with that top to go with it, the um, Rebecca Page, the uh, purple linen skirt. I can't remember the name of it, but this is the how much linen I have left over, which is under a yard. But I figure I can do something with it. If I don't have enough to make a complete top, out of both of these then I can probably do some kind of color blocking because they're both 100% linen black and purple so I most certainly can do something with that or even with that cotton linen I can probably do something funky with it who knows um, this I have quite a bit left of too a couple stacks here if you remember this I made the sew over it e dress and I did the sew along for that so if you hadn't seen you're new to my channel and um, uh, and you want to see or follow along for the sew over it e dress sew along I, I did a full bust adjustment everything on that um, and I want to say for that that was during my pivot and slide day so it wasn't the FBA but it still worked and so I have <laughs> probably a yard and a half see this together two yard no it's probably two yards it is between these two stacks and so some good pieces too 
So that can be, I was thinking about doing a camisole, some kind of um, tank. Oh, I could do a um, springful top, actually. I sure can. Um, this, you have already seen this from my anniversary collection. I did, and I have about a yard and a half with this piece too. I did the, um, for my anniversary collection, I did the closet case pattern, the Charlie Caftan. Sure did, did that out of this. And um, so this is what I have left over. I have a good bit of this left over. This came from Fabmart. This came from, oh, I wish I could remember. Uh, if I if it come to mind, I'll pop it on the screen when I edit the video. But I want to say I got this from, um, I don't remember, Style Maker's Fabric maybe? Ooh, I, I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember. But... And then this here, I'll go through my swatch book if I can figure it out. Um, and then this, I made, I don't know how much of this I got left over. I got a decent amount of this too. But this here is a um, chambray. And I made my very first Charlie Caftan, Cause the Case Patterns Charlie Caftan out of this. And I actually did a review on, it was the first time I made the Charlie Caftan and I did a review um, on it. If I can link to it, I will up here so you can see that if you're interested. But yeah, I have enough for a top for sure. Enough for a top for sure. So... It's probably just under two yards of all of this that's left. And I got this from Joanne Fabrics. I do remember that. All right. So rounding it out, y'all. And right, I will now be getting into some other. Oh, I got threads all over me. <laughs> now getting into closing out in my prints. A majority of this I'm looking at either came from the Goodwill or from Sass Fabrics in Arizona. So this is from Sass Fabrics in Arizona. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I think I picked this up for a top. I sure did. What kind of top? I don't know. But I just love the print. I thought it was really nice. And actually, you can see it better on this side. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So, some kind of top, y'all. I don't know. That's what, that's what it'll be. This is good for me to go through this because some of this I honestly forgot I had. This also from Sass Fabrics. Um, very drapey. It's very silky soft. Um, it's, it's opaque. Cannot see through it. But look at that print. Very nice. This can also be a very nice top. It's a small print. So once again, I will be very particular on the pattern choice that i use but it is so buttery soft so i can't tell you the composition of the fabric because I, I don't i don't remember also from sass fabrics this one i absolutely love i might have to unfold this one um so you can really get an appreciation of the design but i have about two yards is looking like let me show you look at that it has cafe on it. Um, where is this from? Inter Libre. But isn't that a nice design? And I was like, oh, that would be so cute as a top. <laughs> a top of some sort. What kind of top? I don't know. But a top of some sort. And so it was a couple different tops I wanted to do. I wanted to do a um, cashmere at uh, the Springfield top out of this but then I was like no maybe that's not the top I want to do but anyway okay now this I also got from Sass Fabrics it was in the lining section and so oh that blue that gray stripe pinstripe I just showed you this will make a really good lining because this is lining fabric and I like that print to go inside that as a jacket. Oh, yeah. So here, here's how it looked. Isn't that beautiful? Ooh, that would look so nice. And then, oh, 
I bought this to go with the peach. Remember the solid light color peach? That was the same color as this to be a lining up under that. And I could still do that because there's more than enough for me to line a jacket and a skirt. Ooh, see, it's always good to go through your stash. This was gifted to me. Oh my gosh, I can't, I can't remember her name. It's a fellow Sonista on Instagram. I can't even remember her name. This was a couple, this was probably two years ago before I moved to Texas. Um, but I have like, she sent me two different um, prints, but it's probably five yards of this silky and which will also be beautiful for a lining and a jacket or not that gray but some kind of jacket um not sure what but anyway so absolutely love this and the other print i know what it was the other print i had i made out of the carolina pajamas if you saw my video from my make nine video i the shorts and the top i did out of the other print she gave me um uh, that she had given me at that time this I just showed this this was from uh, the Goodwill I had two two cuts of that this is a nice cotton fabric I said I want to do probably a uh, button up same with this one this is Goodwill cotton fabric and and I just showed these so I'm going through these kind of quick but another nice cotton fabric very pretty and another cotton fabric I have two stacks of this I think these all these ones I have two stacks is probably three and a half four yards of it so very pretty um I may I try not to grab the ones I showed you that was from my favorites but I don't remember if I showed this or not. I can't remember. Um, but this is from the Goodwill. And this is a animal print. And this is, at, I'm showing it upside down. Sorry about that. But um, this is actually a sheet set. But it's a really nice cotton I found at the Goodwill. So, you know it's extremely wide. It is extremely wide. And so, yeah. I'm thinking, um... I'm still thinking of doing the same thing I was going to do with it originally, and that's make a shirt dress out of it. And then this so. is from Fabric Mart. This is a, can you see that design? Probably holding it upside down. It's, um, oh no, I was holding the right side up. Okay, here you go. To the birds, you can see the birds. This is a, I want to say this is a cotton poplin, a, a cotton, cotton lawn. No, Cotton Lawn. Cotton Lawn. This is from Fabric Mart. And this, I got this last year sometime. It was probably $2.99 a yard because I'm looking at, this is probably four yards I got folded up on here. Um, so, yeah. Not sure what I'll do with that. The intention was to do a top, but we shall see. I also got this from Fabric Mart. And this was a, because this here, very drapey, of course, but... You can, it's opaque. You can't see through it. You will probably, I will still line it. It will make a beautiful, you can't really see through it though. Um, I'm thinking a beautiful top for sure. I was thinking of the By Hand London and a dress, but I'm thinking it's a, even though it's opaque, I'm feeling like it's still too thin. It feels like a crepe almost, but I don't remember. I got this so long. No, I got this probably in March of this year. So, yeah. But this is, that's the design. Very drapey and pretty. Look at that. All right. So, I am almost done. Let me get my last few little pieces. And okay. that will be, I am closing out the video. And I pretty much moved back to solids because I grabbed some fabric that I forgot um, that I didn't, that I need to show as part of this stash video. So this is a wool I picked up from Fabric Mart last year, October, November, and I made my very first coat. And, oh, I'll pop up a picture because I can't remember the coat pattern, but I'm going to hold this up. See that is the diagonal stripes. It's purple, and the stripes in there are black. And this is the 
that's the wrong side and this is the right side very soft fuzzy so pretty so i made my first coat and i have enough of this left over i remember getting suggestions on a blazer or if i could do a jacket there's not enough left for a jacket but um a vest i'm sorry a vest out of this and um so i think about that this if you saw my haul video this was gifted to me from andrea of so um soda fit and so um very nice stretch cotton so so pretty and so i will definitely do a dress out of this but in the spring so yes and it's probably it's a good amount of this too probably four yards maybe four and a half yards so thank you again andrea for that um this is the denim i picked up from walmart it's a nine 9.5 ounce denim um, very nice. This is what I'm using for the Emily Holman sew along dress I showed you. But yep, that that is here. And then this was the lining fabric that I'll be using for underneath uh, that pattern. The M7745 calls for lining. So I picked up this lining. This came from Walmart um, also. But I bought this in person. That denim I bought online. And very pleased with the quality. Um... And then this is a, um, oh my gosh, what was this? This is a dark navy oh. crepe from um, fashionfabricsclub.com. So that's what this is. So nice. I absolutely love this quality. And I was thinking about doing... Um, uh, I'm actually going to do, I shouldn't say think about, I'm actually doing the M7745 dress, um, the full dress view uh, C out of this, um, out of this entire color navy blue. Um, and then last but not least, and I can let y'all go, um, <laughs> this is the, um, I bought this from Vogue Fabrics in Illinois probably five years ago. And let me tell you, it's been in my stash unwashed until earlier this year. And um, and it's called Bull Denim. Don't, don't ask me why I bought it. I don't even know. I think I was going to make some kind of skirt or something. And it just never was done. And when you buy it, at least this Bull Denim I bought from Vogue Fabrics. I don't remember how much it was or anything. But I remember it was stiff very very stiff and that's probably why I never did anything with it because nothing dawned on me or clicked to wash it and so um early this year I said oh let me go ahead and wash this so I can probably because then I was thinking oh I can probably make a jean jacket out of that and when I got it out of the wash and everything so soft it just got so soft and maybe that's the composition of bull bull denim there's no stretch in it at all there's no stretch. Um, yeah, there's no stretch in this, but it is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. That is a perfect color for me for a denim jacket. So that's what this will be. And I have, don't ask me why I bought all of this. I don't know why. I think it's probably like four yards, four to five yards of this stuff. And I used a yard of it, I know, to make a bag once. Um, but yeah anyway that is it everybody thank you so much for watching both of these videos so those are my fabric stash videos i do have a separate playlist with all three whopping three videos in it <laughs> my favorite fabrics my knit fabrics and now my wovens and so believe it or not i have a haul coming up very soon where i will be sharing with you some other uh fabrics that I purchased. So that is it, everybody. That's all I have right now. So thank you for tuning in. We will catch you in the next video. Thanks again. Have a blessed week. Bye.